In this video, we're going to go over how to share just one field with some users who might need to edit something. The client ask was to allow certain people to edit a particular field. So in my example, in the sandbox, I'm using the number of employees field on the account as my example. My account object sharing is public read. So if you don't own the account, you can't edit it or in that hierarchy. And this is a different team, right? This could be the pricing team, the credit team, the, the non-sales team, those that would not own the record. So a sharing rule was created on the account where the name is not equal to blank, right? Hey, if there's a name, share it with this public group. And for this exercise, I named my public group employee edit group. So that's one part. Now, by doing this, I've now opened up the entire record for sharing all of them. Uh, currently, if I just left it at this, it would be no different than modify all on account. But we go further than that. We need another part. So I've added a particular username, Shane, to this public group. They are the, the one person that I am testing this with. And then on the account object, on the account, I have a validation rule to lock down everything else. So in this, it basically says the user can only modify that field. Now, yes, technically I could make a list of every other field on the account is changed, is changed, is changed. And that does lock it down even further. If they edit this particular field and another field that could allow them to edit the record. However, I also locked down the field as read only on the page layout because if it's read only to all but admins and admins don't count because admins can edit this on the client ask, but I've locked it down and then I created a checkbox. I won't go into the user record, but I created a checkbox for those two or three people on the user record so that when the running user is logged into that page, they can run the flow that actually edits that particular field. So let's dive into that front side with our example person. So now I'm logged in as Shane to look at this and Shane is not the owner of this particular record. And if I try to edit, let's say the annual revenue field, we'll just make something up here and click save. It does give me the validation rule there, but I notice that it is editable right on this field, even though I had the UI locked down to read only. And what I realized in looking at the back end again is that I had updated not just the actions, but the entire page to a dynamic page layout. So I did lock that down on the dynamic side. Now it's read only. And yes, if I try to edit this again, annual revenue, and then click save, review the following fields, employees, only the employee field can be edited. Notice because it's dynamic, it gives me this different type of error than it did when it wasn't dynamic. So, okay, I am this person, I'm not the owner. I can click this button in the upper corner, number of employees, 35, click update and the field updates. So to summarize what I did, I've listed it here for you, create a public group, add the users that need that access to the special field in the public group, create a sharing rule if your records are locked down with that public group. I created a checkbox field on the user record and I checked the box for the people in that public group so I could have that in the validation rule to lock down everything but that field and that was the not is changed part. I locked down that field to read only on the page layout. Now, I did not list in this particular list to turn your account record page into a dynamic page layout. Try to lock it down, see if it's locked down for everybody as read only, and then that would work. And if that still doesn't work, then you might have to update it to a dynamic page layout. And then create a flow with an action and only display that action to the people that need it. It might be a special field. In my client's case, it's a account credit status field. So that is why only certain people should edit it. 
not the account owner and pretty much not anybody else, just some special people. And we didn't want to do a whole new profile for just those two people. So this is how I solved it.